Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I have some more pieces cut open that were cut by my friend Doug. Some of the larger ones I can't cut on my little saw, so he's cut them on his big saw. So let's take a look at them. Here's this cut open, some Crandallite from Clay Canyon. Very yellow. I like the brecciated altered limestone though. Makes a nice pattern in it. Cool. Here's some more Clay Canyon Crandallite. Yep, a lot of yellow. Take a look at that side. And on that side. Nice. Some more Clay Canyon Crandallite, this time in three pieces. Oh, not too bad. Some more. Nice pattern. And some more. So the whitish color stuff you see in there is calcite. Nice. Once again, piece of clay canyon crandallite. This one a little better. We got a little bit more color in this. Got some red on this side. Looks like in the middle we're getting just a teeny bit of blue. Huh, there might be more further in it. Very nice, but yeah, I like that little red that's showing up there. Some of you may remember this red agate from a previous video. Levan, red agate, not black. Here we go. As you can see, it only went so far in it. Kind of what I thought might happen to it. But still, nice. Here's the other side. Here's one of the ones we've been looking forward to. Big blue opal geode. So you can see blue opal on the outside there. And <laughs> sometimes they're pretty solid. As you can see, mostly just volcanic. With a little bit of blue in veins. However, on this side, got a little better because that, that had partial geode exposed there. And then if you look on this side, there you go. So, not too bad, but not nearly what we were hoping. Remember this big one I pulled out, blue opal geode, the big one on the end here. You got it cut. Here we go. Ah, uh, nothing on that side, but look how he happened to cut it. <laughs> look, there's that flat layer of white opal. We know what's underneath that, don't we? Blue and yellow, typically. Sometimes just blue. So it looks like we're going to have to cut that one again. But as it is, it still looks pretty darn cool. And the last one for today is this blue opal geode. If you remember, it had the little here. And then it had this on the back side. And that end of it right here had a bubble, but it broke off. It was hollow. So here we go. And we got some. The bottom one had some blue opal in it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And there you have those cut open. Some nice stuff and some duds. It, it happens. You get good ones and you get not so good ones. But overall, not too bad. Nice to see some of the larger ones cut open. So I still have lots of Dugway Geos to cut open. A few more of the large blue opal geodes, lots of agates, all kinds of stuff. So we'll get around to those eventually. So a little bit of a heads up on what's going to be coming up these next couple months. So there might be some big changes that's going to require that I not spend as much time on YouTube. So I may be going down to one video a week and sometimes I may miss a week with making a rock hounding video, but hopefully I'll be able to do rock cutting videos because they don't take nearly as much time. But we'll see. We'll just see how things go, and I'll keep you guys posted and updated. <clears throat> if I have to miss a week of a video, I'll go ahead and uh, send a message out to let you know. Not going to be able to get a video out this week, but we'll see. And as the colder months come, it does sometimes get harder to get out rock hunting. So we'll just see how things go. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.